Nilesh Shah. You know, I'm not going to do the standard rating of the budget, but this one at least had a surprise uh, in terms of <laughs> capital gains tax. Everyone was in the will she, won't she, will they, won't they kind of a situation. Are you surprised negatively? No, I'm not negatively surprised. I'm just disappointed. STT was levied in place of capital gains. Now, STT and capital both gain, both continue since 2018. Now, capital gains tax is revised upwards. But there is a non-level playing field between foreigners and locals. If FPI invest in Indian derivatives, they make capital gain. If you and I invest in Indian derivatives or trade in Indian derivatives, it is business income. The foreigners doing trading in our derivatives are earning tax-free income, whereas we pay tax as per applicable slab rates. I think we should create a level playing field between foreign and local participants in the market so that there is equal distribution of taxation. Got it. Okay. Okay. And 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 um, okay. So okay. That's the first take. Let's get. Let me get the first take from Prashant Kimka as well. And then I have a follow up for Mr. Nilesh Shah. Prashant, uh, how how would what does this mean for equity markets by and large? There is also this angel tax, which is a very interesting thing which has come in. But what's your first take on the budget from a market's perspective, both from a taxation as well as this adherence to the fiscal deficit are actually beating what they laid out. So, right. Thank you, Neeraj. So, first of all, you know, in almost all respects, other than capital gains tax, uh, the budget to me seems like a continuation of prior budgets. The prior budgets were all received well by the uh, uh, investment community, and we have to keep in perspective that the you know impact of uh, budgets in in normal course of events is is. Uh, um, uh, you know, with, with some rare exceptions, is fairly short-lived uh, on the markets unless there are some uh, very tectonic shifts in the way the economy is expected to grow going forward. Uh, so in some sense, there's a continuity budget. This one negative on capital gains tax, I think, as Nilesh Bhai also mentioned, um, the revenues could have been generated in other ways as well. It just besides, first of all, it's a two and a half percent increase. Let's forget for a minute the short term gains tax, which you can't really forget, but the long term gains tax has been increased by two and a half percent. That means if you are going to expect 10 to 11 percent over time, I think reasonable to expect 10 percent return from the market, then it has shaved it off by 25 basis points. It's material, yeah, because uh, there's no indexation benefit. So your real return has gone down. Uh, more than two and a half, it's gone down probably by 5%. Um, it also opens up a Pandora's box in, in, in a sense. We had a certain stable tax regime on investors for last several years. Yeah, 10% on capital, long term, 15% short term. Now, the increase in this budget also raises the risk in investors' mind, legitimately so that we can have frequent changes. And when I say changes, usually with things related to taxes, they only go in one direction. Um, so could this, could this imply future tax hikes as well? Already, I think in my um, uh, you know, experience of having invested in developed and EM markets, the taxes on investments in equity markets in India are towards the high end especially the variety of taxes all taken together i'm not saying just look in isolation long term gains tax or short term gains tax and so on including the dividend tax and the buyback tax and the stt and all those so at a certain point there'll be a straw on the camel's back uh, a theory would be applicable uh, i don't think this two and a half percent increases that is that straw but increases the risk uh, that down the line you'll have further uh, uplift in this tax rates. But that is the primary uh, concern with the budget. Otherwise, I think most of the budget, particularly, hopefully the fine print would have to be looked at. Nilesh Bhai was just mentioning uh, a short while ago on the media, which is what I'm frantically searching for in the fine print that certain laws have been amended in uh, the direction of ease of doing business, which would allow fund managers like myself sitting outside India to come back to India and live a normal life in India 
uh, I'm yet to see that uh, print. My team is looking for it as well. But if such things are indeed included in the fine print, then ease of doing business is what I usually always look for from a budget rather than this text tinkering. Uh, the budget is an opportunity. Every budget to me is an opportunity to improve ease of doing business because all said and done, we are last published, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know, ranked 63rd on ease of doing business. We want to be number one to become a developed nation by 40. We can't become a developed nation by being 63rd nation on ease of doing business. That's true. Yeah? That's so true. that fine print, I'm very much eager to look into as it becomes available.